I am a publisher, writer, editor, daughter, sister, auntie, dog mom, and many other things, including currently a cancer patient. But I am not a doctor or medical professional of any sort. What you are about to watch is an episode of my journey through cancer. I'm sharing my adventure with you in hopes that you'll find something here that's comforting and maybe even inspiring. This video is not intended to provide any sort of diagnosis or treatment plan. Please, please go talk with your doctor for professional medical advice. Returning 25 years later to the scene of the crime, Cantlers, in Annapolis, Maryland, for steamed crabs. We left today for our long planned getaway, Christy and her husband John and me. The trip to Maryland was long and not something totally sensible given the state of my back, but even my doctors encouraged me to go to relax and spend time with friends while I wait to start my cancer treatments. Food was good. Really, even sweeter than it was a quarter century ago, the last time we ate together at Candler's. And the company, as it always is, was outstanding. T truly outstanding. But I'm not settled yet into the vacation mode. No matter how I looked forward to it and planned for it, I am too preoccupied, I think, to be good company myself, and that's a lot of pressure. We are now back in the hotel room we're staying in for one night while we wait for the house that we've rented to be ready for us. Um, and. Uh, you know, my back is feeling better. It's still awfully tender. Um, and I'm, I'm not a big fan of this hotel. Um, it's, it's freezing in here and I can't figure out how to turn the thermostat up. Um, you know, maybe I'm just not a big fan of sleeping in a refrigerator. <laughs> um, but it's, it's the, the chill is not good for relaxing the muscles in my back or for my mood. However, carrying on, um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to answer a few questions I've been asked about um, this little channel. So first is why I decided to use lemons as a motif in the beginning um, and ending sequence of these little videos. And um, the first reason is that I love lemons. I love lemonade. I love lemons. Tea. I love lemons in salad dressing and baked chicken and fish, of course, and uh, and on a pizza crust with a little crème fraîche and and uh, some smoked salmon and with a shot of vodka, of course. Um, but mostly, I like lemons because they remind me of Italy and of my ancestors. Uh, a friend and I had been planning a trip there just prior to the cancer diagnosis. For me, lemons are um, a symbol of hope, of good times to come and places to go when I've beaten cancer. Um, they are completely aspirational right now and a motivation to stay tough. I've been waiting nearly four weeks to find real answers to um, the scope of the problem that cancer might, has, might have made for me. Um, I have been fighting with my insurance company to cover the costs of my cancer treatment and that has been blindingly frustrating. I have been trying to attend to projects that are in progress and remain cheerful. But the longer the wait goes on, the longer I think that the cancer has to grow and spread 
and it's just comforting to have something even as small as lemons on which to focus my thoughts about the future. Um, the other question that I've been asked is um, why I've turned off the comments for these videos. And um, that's an easy one. The, this has nothing to do with my desire to communicate with whomever might be watching these videos or not communicate with them. It has everything to do with preserving my energy while I deal with cancer. Um, I would feel compelled to read the comments, to thank the writer, to research any questions that might be asked and, and provide some sort of answers. And um, I, I just don't have the bandwidth. Um, and on the other hand, if there was a troll um, among the commenters, I might not take it well, considering how vulnerable cancer has made me feel. So maybe at some point in the future, I'll turn the comments on. For now, I think I've made the right decision. Christy's husband just knocked at the door and asked if I was cold. I said, I'm fucking freezing my ass off in here. And he figured out how to turn my thermostat down. So things ought to be more bearable in a matter of moments. I'm trying to settle in and get into vacation mode. And you know, it's not a bad sign that my back has felt better than it has in, in a week and a half today. Um, so maybe I'm not actually as tense as I think I am. But uh, you can't smell it, but I can. Eating crabs is delicious, but I still smell them on me. So I'm going to take a quick shower and then get under the covers and try to continue to relax. Bye. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give it a like. Subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell.